I got it all hooked up. Yes. Yes. Uh, this is good water, guys. This is probably about three gallons a minute. All right, guys. Uh, I want to show you a little gravity flow water system that I'm setting up here. It's really, really simple. Uh, this is this is a spring that's actually on a neighboring property, but it rolls onto my property. And I mean, you know, right now we're in uh, July and August, actually. And uh, this is the driest time of the year. And uh, this this spring is obviously it's still running. Now I've I've watched this spring for about 12 years, probably longer, and it never it never goes below this level here. I'm gonna show you the other side there. All right, guys, uh, this is the other side. This is uh, basically the spring head is back there. It actually runs on an adjoining property back over in there, but uh, this, I mean, you can hear it. You can hear the water just running down through here. Uh, this, this here little pond area is probably about six feet deep. And I ran that two inch pipe out here. I basically put a T because in the winter time, uh, water is streaming through this. And so water is gonna hit this and it's gonna wanna push this pipe through the culvert. So this T is gonna stop it and prevent it from pushing all the way through. But that water is gonna be streaming through this two inch pipe. Now, I reduced it down to a half inch and I'm gonna show you that here in a minute. But this is where we catch the water uh, there's a filter on the end right there and I catch the water filter it out I've got another filter just before it goes into the tank uh, the catch tank and I'll I'll show you I'm just building it right now as we as I do this video so uh, everything is still kind of rough haven't put everything together yet but this is the basis of it I mean this is this is where it starts so let me show you the other side now Basically, we've got this culvert here that's delivering water from the spring. And you can see it's quite a bit of water. So I just channeled it on this channel made out of tin, just a simple channel and channeled it into this sort of like a spring box here. Spring box is set in concrete. And I'm, I've got a screen that's gonna go over the top to catch all the lint. Right now I'm just testing it. So I don't have the screen on the top, but I just, it's not all fully complete. I just want to make sure it works. Um, and then I'm going to put a reducer from a three inch to a two inch PVC schedule 40 and connect that end up better. Right now it's just all gravity flow. It's just all flowing based on gravity. And it's getting there and it's del delivering water, I don't know, 500 feet away. Uh, it's all gravity flow. And then from there, I got to go another 500 feet down to the cabin. But this is on my property, so it doesn't really matter. Oh man, this is, this is great. I'll use this water for uh, gardening, irrigation, domestic use in the cabin. All right, so I'm gonna just uh, put the sand on and then connect the half inch and we'll see what we get. So uh, I'm not gonna glue anything cause it's not under pressure. I'm just gonna keep it like that. This reducing it down to a half inch like this, once I connect the pipe, is gonna cause this two inch to fill up with water. It's gonna create back pressure, which is then gonna drive that water through the half inch to the point of destination. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hook this up and we're gonna go up and see what it's gonna take it a while to kind of fill up this line it's 400 feet but it should fill it up and I should get water on the other end so we'll see what happens I just got this half inch it's just temporary right now just got the half inch just laying on the ground 
and it's just temporary right now just to get water to the tank um, maybe at a later time I'll bury this line uh, it's gonna be quite a bit of work because it's about 400 feet but I can bury it the advantage to burying it the only advantage to burying it is preventing freeze in the, in the winter. Uh, this line will freeze. So in the winter, what I'll do to prevent freezing, if I don't bury it, is just keep it running. You know, on the other end, just keep, keep the line open, keep it running. As long as the water is running, it doesn't freeze. I just want to kind of show you here that half inch line just goes right on through here. And again, this is gravity flow. It's all downhill. It's all downhill from here. It keeps going. And then, as you can see, it comes out right here. I mean, you can see that half inch line and then it comes out here. This is all on my property. And you can see it gradually goes uphill, but it's not, it's not climbing higher than the head up, up top, uh, the, the portion that I just showed you. This is not climbing higher, so water has a tendency to try to balance itself. So it's gonna look for its balance. And if this end is lower than the, the, the front end, uh, it, water is going to run out here. So it'll climb up this hill and it'll keep going until it gets to the tank. Right, the water should be coming out here in a minute. I got everything hooked up. We'll see what happens. I hear it. I hear it. up yes 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 oh yeah that's just sediment in the line that water's clean it's just uh, sediment in the line but look at it that's all gravity flow it's just getting the air out of the line there's a lot of air in it and uh, Pretty soon it's gonna be a steady stream. Yes. Yes. Now, it, there's a lot of uh, dirt and trash in the line, so I gotta leave that open and let that stuff kind of really work its way out when I was running the pipe see see there's a lot of that you see that's from running the pipe yeah see we want to get that out that is cool man steady stream of water see that'll fill up any tank over time, that's gonna run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I'm gonna put two filters on it. But that's gravity flow from that spring up top. And it's just flowing right down into here. Awesome, awesome. Oh yeah, I like that. Steady flow. There's a steady flow now. We still got a little trash in the line, but it'll work its way out over time. We'll just let it run and work its work all the trash out. Oh, that is so good to see. All right, guys, let me show you what I've got here. Uh, this is the water coming out on the uh, downside. And uh, this is good water, guys. This is probably about three gallons a minute at least three to five gallons a minute. 
Uh, right now I'm just filling up as a test run. I'm just filling up this 275 gallon tank just to kind of see. I am going to put a filter on. I'm going to put two of these on. Um, these are centrifuge filters. I'm going to put one on the top end up by the spring and then one on the bottom end down here by the uh, by the tank. Then I have another filter down by the cabin. So it's going to be fresh water right now. I mean, that's good water, guys. I mean, that is spring water, mountain spring water, gravity flow. It's just coming right out of the mountain, basically gravity flow through my property. I'm harvesting it, harvesting it and uh, filling up my tanks. I'll have uh, four, probably four to 5,000 gallons, uh, maybe a couple thousand for uh, fire prevention and then a couple thousand for domestic use. And, and again, guys, this is just a half inch line. So I downsized from a two inch to a half inch to create a little bit more pressure on this back end. And uh, yeah, this is really, really good water. I mean, this is, this is uh, at least three to five gallons a minute, at least. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, as I see it, I've just got this relatively simple 275 gallon tank. Right now, I don't know, there's probably, I've been filling it, I don't know, maybe two minutes, three minutes, four minutes maybe. And I would say there's probably about 10 gallons in there already. So 10 to, 10 to 15 gallons at least three hours worth of work and got pretty good water for the garden for the trees excited about that i'm gonna set the tank up right level it off bring in some gravel i'll drop some gravel here for the winter and uh let me just show you this water comes out of the bottom end down here you basically just turn this lever and you got water put a two inch down there and you got plenty of water. That water is going downhill. It's going to end up going downhill another 500 feet to the cabin. By the time it gets to the cabin down there, it's about a 150 feet elevation uh, up here as opposed to down there. So by the time I get the water down there, I'll have at least 70, 80 pounds of pressure, uh, which domestic use is right around 60. So I have plenty of pressure down by the cabin. Hey guys, check this out. There's about four or five wild apple trees on the property here. And uh, I just want you to notice all the apples. They're not ready yet, but there's a lot of apples on this tree. And uh, we don't do anything. We don't water it. It just, uh, it just grows every year, it produces some of the most sweet apples very sweet apples uh, you can see them all up in the tree there plenty of apples they're small they're green but they're gonna be red they're like the gala apples very delicious apples there's about four or five trees they just grow wild and this is one another thing that grows very uh, wild and there's a lot of it are blackberries these are blackberries i want to show you they're very, very sweet, and they're just ready right now. I mean, you can put them in the cereal. Uh, you can make pies out of them, smoothies. Uh, those blackberries are amazing, guys. Very, very sweet, very sweet. And they just grow literally all over out here. 